Hello and welcome to Punchline Weeklies. I'm your comic strip critic, and this week in comics, in questionable content, May's getting a new face, and Faye's being watched on by the robot police. All hail our new metal mechanical overlords. In Saturday morning breakfast cereal, aliens are asking humanity for an answer to the moral conundrum known as the trolley problem, with the fate of the Earth hanging in the balance. I'm quite worried all of a sudden. In Ask Frisk and Company, we got to learn about Undyne's parents. They both sound pretty cool. Not hard to see how Undyne turned out the way she did. Pooch Cafe had a quite literal cat fight today. This was just hilarious to imagine. I'm still wondering how Pancho got so many cats to lie around him in that particular formation. In Prickly City, Scott Stantis managed to give a nice little birthday shout out to Charles Schultz. That's cool to see. In the brilliant mind of Edison Lee, Orville knows the right way to shop for Christmas gifts. Online. That's my kind of shopping trip. And in retail, we celebrated that most vile of holidays. Black Friday. There's no way that what Marla and Cooper pulled off here would ever be acceptable in real life. But that's the beauty of this comic. Catharsis through cartoony shenanigans. God bless the two of them. And now the question of the week. What are your favorite classic comedies? Classic in this case being before 1980. Hmm, when was Airplane made? 1980? Shoot, that's still in the 80s. Well, since my all-time favorite comedy doesn't quite make the cutoff date, Animal House is a classic, and you really can't go wrong with Blazing Saddles either. Leave your questions down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm your comic strip critic. Thanks for watching.